All right, it's the Jersey Jaguar, and I'm finally back at you with a brand new full-length Jersey video. Guys, the 2024-2025 NBA City Edition jerseys just got leaked. Every team, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over them very briefly, but I'm also going to be giving you a quick review and grade on them. All right, guys, so each is going to get a number grade out of 10. And again, the description is going to be very, very quickly if I have time in the future to do a full review when they come out officially, I'll do it again once they have the numbers on them. I'm sure that'll either raise or lower the scores. All right, guys, we got a lot to talk about. Happy to be back. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. Now, guys, we're going to start off with it alphabetically. So it's going to be going from A all the way up to W, which the Washington Wizards are going to be the last team for the alphabet. Now, guys, we're going to start with the Atlanta Falcons. Now, guys, the Atlanta Falcons are mixing their old school St. Louis days when they're out there, and they're combining that with the Dominique Wilkins days when they had that strap across it. Honestly, I think this jersey does look kind of cool. Personally, I would like to see the Trey Young rookie colors, you know, that red with the neon green and black. I think that would look cool for this jersey, but as is, I'm giving it an 8.0 solid jersey. Just needs a little color swap, in my opinion. Next up, we have the reigning NBA champions, Boston Celtics. Now, guys, this jersey is terrible, in my opinion. It is a color swap from last year. Last year's was so-so, but this color swap is going to give it a 4.75. As is, this just does not look like a good jersey. Also, another one that took a downgrade from last year's is going to be the Brooklyn Nets. Now, guys, last year's was designed by Cause. This year's same basic jersey. They just left the colors in the ward mark. The rest of the jerseys is black and gray. Guys, I don't like the way this one looks. I'm giving it a 5.5. Lacers was much better in my opinion. All right, so bringing one back from a few seasons ago is going to be the Charlotte Hornets. Now, guys, the Charlotte Hornets originally looked good. It's basically this jersey that you see right here, but it said Buzz City. This one says Charlotte. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. Guys, this is a cool looking jersey. I like the colors, but I would like to see something new for them. All right, guys, so even though I'm wearing a Brooklyn jersey, my hometown team is the Chicago Bulls. This jersey, just like their ownership, is lazy, unappealing, and idiotic. Now, guys, I do like the idea because they are celebrating the anniversary of the United Center. Now, guys, the United Center is the biggest arena of North America, so it is cool. But for the Chicago Bulls' colors, their history, and for the United Center's size, they should have done something much, much better than what they have. That jersey is getting a 4.75. <laughs> All right, taking things to the seas, we're going to have the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, guys, this is going to go back to their early 2000 days when they were wearing the light blue with the black. However, this one's going to be light blue, white, and gray. I love on the side how they have all their old school logos and monikers on there. I think that's really cool. That looks awesome on the side. The color's awesome. The front word mark could be a little bit better, in my opinion. They use the land so many times. However, overall, I'm going to give this jersey a 7.0. With the new Warmark, this could be a solid, solid jersey. All right, next up, and we're seeing this a lot this year, our teams going back to another jersey, just swapping their colors or slightly changing it. And that is the case for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, guys, it is just basically a white swap from last year. This one looks all right. I'm going to give it a six and a half. Not the best, but not the worst. The Denver Nuggets. Now, guys, the Denver Nuggets, again, is going to go with that 5280 on there. As you know, that is how many feet are in a mile being that it is that Mile High Stadium. However, this jersey got some other aspects to it that I think overall make it look, look a little bit sketchy. Now, guys, if they do some tweaking and or when I see the numbers on the front of the name and the back, I'll be able to get a better review. But as of right now, this jersey is getting a five and a half. Next, we got the bad boy Detroit Pistons. Now, guys, this jersey is doing the bad boy again, like I just said, from last year. However, this one is a color swap. It's going to be cream with black and the reddish-orange color. Now, guys, I think this looks absolutely awesome. I'm going to give this an 8.0. I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more bad to it to make it look even a little bit more hardcore. But as is 8.0, I like this one. Now, next up are the Warriors. Now, guys, by any means, I am not a Warriors fan. However, I do like this jersey. It is navy with red and gold, and it is inspired by the Golden Gate Bridge. Apparently, on their shorts, they are going to have some cables on there, just like the bridge does. The color combination, placements of the word mark, and placements of the stripes looks good. I'm going to give this a 7.75. <laughs> All right, and with the H, we are going to have H-Town. Now, guys, this jersey is a little bit boring for me. However, I do like that it is inspired by the great Hakeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler back from when they won the championship. 
Like as it says, H Town huge in the front. The war mark is kind of cool. Striping is a little bit boring in my opinion, guys. Overall, not the worst jersey that I've seen. Now, I'm not swayed by it by any means possible, so I'm going to give it a six and a half. And for the Indiana Pacers, again, simply a color swap from last year. So last year was a dark tone jersey. This year it's going to be a white jersey. I'm going to give it a 6.75. I liked it last year. I liked it this year. I think maybe last year I might have liked it slightly bit better. Another one with a color swap from last year that I like better this year is going to be the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, guys, they had a local artist help design it last year. It was navy with light blue details. This time it is light blue with navy details. I like this version much better than last year. I'm going to give it a 7.0. And then we have the Lake Show jersey, the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, guys, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I am a huge fan of the color purple. Purple is a hardcore favorite color of mine. And this one fades from black to purple. Now, if they would have added some Mamba snakeskin on top of that fade of the whole jersey, I think it would look awesome. I like the Lake Show that is unique to only them, and it is cool seeing them use a nickname. With that, I'm going to give this jersey a 7.5 solid jersey. Next up, we have one that I actually do like and I'm surprised to see. It's going to be the Memphis Grizzlies using red. We have never seen this before. It's going back to the Memphis Sounds days, guys, way back. This jersey does look cool. I think the trim could have used a little bit color swap, but as is, I'm going to give this a 7.5. It's cool to see for the Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> All right, guys, bringing it back to the Midwest is going to be the Milwaukee Bucks. Again, they're going with the lake-inspired jersey, and this one's going to be inspired with the rivers going into the lake. It's going to be blue, darker blue, and cream. Guys, they keep using this theme, and guys, it's starting to get boring. I'm going to give this a 5.75. Jersey overall is so-so. It's just that they need to use some new kind of idea. So another color swap from last year, and this one works really well, much, much better than last year. It's going to be the Miami Heat and the Heat culture jersey. Last year, I didn't like it at all. I thought it was one of the worst jerseys in the collection last year. This time, I'm going to be giving it a 7.75. That red, red jersey with only very little black details is going to look awesome on the court. Now, guys, even if they use black numbers instead of white, this jersey is going to be a solid jersey on the court, as is 7.75. And another color swap from last year is going to be the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, guys, they were also going with the Great Lakes. And guys, the jersey I thought looked absolutely awesome last year. It was one of the best ones in last year's collection. And it's still definitely above the average. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Again, last year's was slightly better in my opinion, but this year's still looks great. If they made these their home and away from the Minnesota Timberwolves, I wouldn't be angry. And another color swap from last year is going to be the New York Knicks. Guys, it's literally just a white version of the blue jersey last year. I like last year's a little bit better. This year, I'm going to give it a 7.5. So one that's going to be a little bit different than last year is going to be the New Orleans Pelicans. You now, guys, this Pelican jersey is cool. Again, it's purple, which is my favorite color. A little bit darker shade of purple, but we are going to have that same neon green, Mardi Gras, voodoo-inspired colorway. Now, guys, on top of that, we are going to have a bone pattern supplemented into the jersey, so that's pretty cool. I like this idea, guys. I'm going to give it a 7.0. <laughs> Guess what? We have another jersey inspired by last year. It's going to be the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, guys, last year's was better. This one is a black version of it with some details from last year's on the side. I'm giving this one a 5.75. So this color swap, again, is going to be from last year. It is going to be the Orlando Magic's jersey from last year. However, this one is all white. This one, guys, actually isn't that bad. I think if they would have added some blue pinstripes instead of the gray pinstripes, it would have raised it up. As is, I'm going to give this one a 7.75. Honestly, not that bad looking of a jersey. All right, and we have another white color swap this time the philadelphia 76ers but not from last season it's a white color swap from the 75th anniversary mixtape jersey guys based off their old stadium now i think the blue one originally looked cool it was actually navy blue however i like this one much better it looks really clean especially with those colors on the side i'm gonna give it an eight and a half kind of going back to a mixtape kind of not is going to be the phoenix suns now guys they're going back to 1995 and again, this is the 2024-2025 season. So they're going back to 1995 for the All-Star Game, which was held in Phoenix. Now, guys, it's a purple jersey, but we have that inspiration from the All-Star Game jersey from back in the day, 30 years ago. Looks absolutely freaking awesome, in my opinion, guys. I like this jersey a lot. I'm going to give it a 9.0. I would have gave it even higher if they would have used that old-school war mark from their late 80s jerseys. And finally, for this group, we're going to have a under-inspiring Portland Trailer Blazers. Honestly, these guys only have one or two solid city jerseys. The rest of them weren't that good. This one follows suit. It's going to get a five and a half. 
Overall, the look of the jersey I don't really like, but I do like that it is a memorial to Jack Ramsey, so that is kind of cool that they did something in memorial to somebody from their organization. <laughs> So we got the final group of the bunch and kicking things off for this final group is going to be the Sacramento Kings going back to another Royals jerseys like they used to wear back in the day. They did the same thing last year. However, this one's based off another season. This one looks great, guys. You got the blue and the red. Solid looking jersey. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. All right, guys, come here. I got a little secret for you. It's another color swap. This time it's going to be the San Antonio Spurs, a very, very, very light minty teal from last year's white jersey guys last year i thought it was kind of cool this year i'm gonna give it a 7.0 not bad but i would have liked to see something a little bit more original all right so right off the bat i'm gonna tell you we got the best one in the bunch coming next it's gonna be the toronto raptors with the tribute to vince carter and his 2000 slam dunk contest championship now guys as most of you know but some of you don't he's getting inducted into the hall of fame this year and he's one of my favorite players of all time so we got that famous Raptor on the front doing one of his dunks guys looks absolutely awesome. I love this jersey I love it a lot. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half I would have given it a 10.0 if the stripes would have alternated from gray and purple on the front as is though nine and a half guys This is easily the best one in the bunch for my opinion for one of my favorite players of all time Another heavy 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 hitter going back to the 90s the late 90s specifically is gonna be the Utah Jazz having a updated version of their Stockton and Malone days when they were in the championship now guys this one's gonna be slightly slightly different it's gonna be an updated version of it like i said i'm gonna give it a 9.0 the utah jazz did justice with this jersey finally that leaves us with the washington wizards guys we have another color swap last year that jersey really grew on me i thought last year's actually was a little bit better and ended up being better than i thought when i seen it on the court this one getting a 6.0 color swap eh i would have liked to see something different all right, there you go. You see which ones I like. Let me know which ones that you like from these 2024-2025 NBA City Edition jerseys. And again, guys, once we get a full unveiling of them and we can see the high-res photos with the player names and numbers on there, I'm sure, again, it will either raise or lower these scores. Guys, if you don't mind dropping me a like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. And if there's another video you want to see me do in the future, I'm a little backed up, but I will do my best to get it done. I'll see you at the next one.